Be sure to check out Real Things new live event early, and here is everything you need to know. So, if you enjoyed part of this video with Liver, then don't leave without subscribing and maybe even liking for good. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. So, for those of you who do not know, Google Tag has just had the Halloween update a second time around, and with the Halloween update came this new Cracked Moon. Now, the Cracked Moon can be seen above forest in the sky and in many other maps, but most prominent, prominently in forest. The moon acts as an overcast and a monument for many players to gaze at while running away from tagged lava plants. Now, me personally, I first noticed this when I got onto the update. I was going out to some to see if there's any differences. And yes, there's two different. There's the moon. Actually, three. There's the moon. There is those really weird staffs almost. They're big black holes. And then there is a new cauldron with a skeleton in it. There is going to be a live event on Friday the 25th, the official live event, where this moon is going to turn into a giant moon with a giant eye and very spooky music. Just listen. But guys, this is just the beginning. From a giant moon with an eyeball to paired with low gravity, there's so much more to go over. And in today's video, I'm planning to show you everything about the live event and guys this is just the small potatoes here there is a giant other couple things that you guys need to know for this live event and i need you guys to get ready because there might even be new cosmetics now while we wait for this giant moon to go away i would just like to tell you guys that you need to go and get still vr yes this is my official game that i've been talking about for quite a while now and, for, and i haven't talked about it in a video for a while although this game let me just tell you it's just like a roll tag except you have literal springs for hands and you can bounce way farther the maps are way more vibrant and it has more of an arcade theme and i'm actually gonna be showing a clip right here. Whoa, 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 You think you're gonna watch the rest of the video without without seeing me? It's Future Neutral here, and I wanted to tell you about something really, really cool that I got a chance to play a while back, and it's called Stilt VR. Stilt VR is an immersive, first-person, gorilla tag type game, but instead of gorilla arms, you have really bouncy stilts that bounce you around locomotionally anywhere you want. And I've played it a couple times. I made a video on it, which will be on screen. In there, I tried out Stilt VR. It was amazing, amazing experience. And I'm giving you guys the one-time opportunity to get 50% off your purchase of the game on Steam VR um, with my code, which is NewTor and a bunch of random numbers. It'll be in the description. Um, if you want to pick up a copy of Stilt VR to support me as a content creator and help me for what I do, as well as to play the game for yourself, 50% off one-time purchase, then go down to the description pick up a copy of yours for yourself and get ready because still vr is about to have the biggest halloween update yet on october 28th yes that's right guys october 28th there's gonna be a bunch of new cosmetics and some spooky gameplay changes so get hype get excited and now let's get back to the video i will be doing a giveaway with two free codes so join my discord down below where i'll be doing the giveaway and if you join the discord you may have a chance to win this game for free thank you all and back to the video now although the moon is still out i would like to tell you guys about there's gonna be quite a few things changing for the live event and it's not just this giant moon this guy right up here will be changing and i'm gonna change him just in a second once the moon goes away show you guys exactly what he's gonna look like now before i show you exactly what else is in the live event i would like you guys to comment down below what your thoughts on this live event so far are and if you're ready for it because just me personally i'm very scared also don't forget to like so that other people can see exactly what this live event is early and now i think it's time for me to show you the first thing that's going to be changing in the live so when you hop on the game on the fifth which is friday this week you will first notice when you come to city there are a couple things playing now let me now let me turn them on so you guys can see Turn back but before i can show you exactly what the magician looks like let me just tell you it's spooky all right let's look at it three two one dude look at this this is the magician and this is what it's going to look, look like during the live event and since i turned on the live event you guys can also see the moon is literally glowing with a giant crack and if i press this button right here the live event will actually officially start but first i should show you a couple things so as you can see the the uh, magician that gives you wishes has now has red eyes that are very very scary and the whole booth is way more red if you press and get fortune the fortunes will actually be scarier i'll just load them up as you guys see the weakest branch breaks first i don't know about you but that that's kind of weird i'm not gonna lie what are you doing buddy now if i head it down if you stump there should also be a new actual another secret i'm pretty sure it's in stump oh my gosh lucy spawn guys before i can show you this officially we need to run away from lucy what the ligma and what the sigma lucy you ruined the video buddy how how dare lucy you know what, just, just for this part, and because Lucy ruined it, I think you guys deserve to hear what Lucy... Also, just to make the game more fun, I'm just gonna see how much longer I can escape Lucy with with speed boost. If you guys don't know, speed boost gives you the best advantage ever. Like, literally a Sigma. If you guys don't know what a Sigma is, that's kind of a bad thing speed boost gives you. You become the ultimate Sigma. Oh! That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Also, if you guys have been tuning into the streams, please comment down below what your thoughts on them are. I really have been enjoying streaming lately, and it's actually been helping the channel a lot. Maybe you will be entered for a chance to win in the new Stilt VR giveaway that I was talking about earlier. So, yeah, make sure you do join the 
just running low. Oh my gosh, Lucy's getting fast. How fast is Lucy though? Holy, I have speed boost on and she's still almost catching me. I think it's time we just head to a different map. I have a feeling if we don't escape this map soon, we won't have much other place. Dude, I'm hearing some really creepy music. I don't know if it's like someone in my house or if it's like the game. Run, dude. Oh my God, it's fast. It's gotta have four times speed now because I currently have like five times speed and I'm barely escaping it. Oh my God, dude, what the man? Dude, it's about to catch me. It's actually about to catch me. Yo, I I'm hearing some creepy music and it's not helping, bro. Not gonna, oh my God, please. No, get out. It doesn't help that I'm not, I'm not good on the game. Oh my God, oh my God, dude. How do people escape Lucy for this long? I have a speed boost, I'm barely escaping. Oh my gosh, guys, what that signal. Make sure you stick it all the way to the end because there's an even bigger secret at the end I need, I need to show you guys. I need to show you guys everything. So just hold on a second, Lucy. Bro, she insta-cat. She insta -cat. And now, back to the next league. Now, this one is a superficial league that I can't show you for long, since I don't think the girls like, developers are going to like me showing this to you. But just for your sake, I'd like to show you everything that's going to be happening in the live event. So when you get in the forest, you will actually notice that the second you come around the corner, there is a gray zone manager. Now, what this is, no idea, guys. Although, I'm going to try it. So I'm pretty sure what this does is it manages how much gravity you have when the live event happens. So if I press active on it, and I press 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, it'll actually change the gravity during the live event. And just to test to make sure this works, I'm going to actually just use my mod menu, which allows me to activate the live event. Now I'm just going to actually, oh my gosh, yep, the gravity is way better, way, way different now. As you guys can see, since I pressed the 0.75 button, look at my gravity. I'll go first person just to show you guys, but look at how much gravity I have now. Almost nothing. Like when I press something, because of that button, I literally can basically go up to the, why does it look like this? Oh my gosh, guys, look at the moon. Because I activated the live event, look at it. There's light shining everywhere. It's way darker. And as you can see, the moon is literally shining bright. I think I may have just actually glitched the game up. But as you can see, this is the official live event. There's way more rooms. I'm pretty sure there's even witches up there. But as you can see, I need to go press this button again because my gravity is actually terrible, dude. I can literally go almost part of the map with one hit, bro. So I gotta be very careful here. Barely, I just need barely hit, okay? Let me, let me do a big hit. What happens? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. I can literally go to the map with this. Guys, please do not touch the gray zone manager. You'll actually ruin your game. And by the way, my internet is very, very bad right now. So if you can even understand me, thank, thank you for, for trying. All right, all right, let's, let's just head over. Also, the music's way too creepy. I need to turn it off. There we go. All right, let me get up to stop here. Dude, I just need to get to the gray zone button. If I can get to the, all right, the event's done, the event's done. Theory is correct, I shouldn't have low gravity anymore. So as soon as the event's on, this will activate. But as of now, if I press that, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, so since the live event's done, now I'm gonna show you exactly what the witches look like in forest. All right, now that the event's done, you should be able to see all of the flying witches on top of forest, but they are very, very hard to see. Okay, let's see if we can find all the flying witches. Also, there should be a cauldron over here. There it is. This is the live event cauldron, guys, and I just loaded it in for you guys. As you can see, place the flowers. Oh, no, it doesn't work right now. But you could place the flowers inside the cauldron, and it'll literally make a combination, like, three boost and a bunch of others. Now, let's see if we can see the witches around them. My calculations are correct. There should be giant flying witches around the map with literally a bunch of stuff coming behind. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of witches going around the map. Look at there's one right there and there should be another one. There should actually be a third one. Uh, but as you can see, the first one has a giant track behind it. Very, very vibrant. And this is going to be during the event, guys. So this is everything you're seeing right now in the game is going to be exactly what's going to happen during the event. And for those of you who think this is a fake mod, no, it's not. I literally just went into the game files. Don't tell me. I went into like game files and just activated it. And just so you guys know, the names of all this stuff was 2024 Halloween event. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't think Lemmy's just going to lie to us. But as you can see, the witches are literally going overhead. And I'm actually just going to fly up next to one so I can. Oh, there's two of them. Holy boy. I'm going to fly up next one to show you that they're actually just a 2D meant to be a shadow that goes around the map with a very, very cool track. This track was not here last year, but the witch itself, I think, was. And they're bringing all of this back, including the shiny moon, the witches, the cauldrons, colored orbs. As you can see, the orbs are different. And I'm pretty sure there's also different styling to things in this game. Like right now, there's different lighting. Uh, this will all be on Friday the 25th, everybody. And if I can load it in, I'm going to try and show you the biggest, biggest part of the event that may be coming. Unfortunately, I could not load anything in that I wanted to other than the stuff I've already showed you. But what I was trying to tell you is the building blocks may be making a return. In the files, it says that the, during the Halloween update, update they're gonna or Halloween event they're gonna have a building blocks Halloween update but I cannot get it to load in every time I try to load it in my game crashes uh so we might be seeing this in the new event this was meant to be the big surprise but it doesn't work to end off this video I'm gonna show you exactly what the event looks like by pressing it all at once and all for fun I'm just gonna pull my mod menu so I'm just gonna pull my mod menu with the Y button on my controller and press the live event in three two make sure you subscribe and one. Oh my gosh dude look at the size of the event move oh my gosh, guys, as you can see, this is the official event moon, guys, with light coming out of it and a giant eyeball that's actually way bigger than forest, with which is flying around, a giant cauldron, and a bunch of other stuff, like the magician that gives you wishes, and look at the size of these cauldrons you can put flowers in. You can even change the gravity with the gray zone manager button, and guys, this is everything that's going to be the holy event, so if you like this video whatsoever, make sure you subscribe, like, and as always, I will see you all later.